Hi everyone. I'm going to tell you about some basic statistics which you must be aware of when you are analyzing your data. Stats in itself is a vast subject and I intend to cover that for you sometime soon. So for now, let's stick to the basics. In this lesson, you will learn about the commonly used terms in the world of data and type of statistical analysis, data types. You shall also learn about how to describe data with the help of descriptive statistics and how and when to measure mean, median, mode, standard deviation, range, etc. Statistics is a study which involves collection, organization, analysis, and interpretation of data. It helps in providing a numerical summary of a data that is being analyzed. Now, let me tell you more about the term data. What are various ways in which data can be classified? Data are values of qualitative or quantitative variables belonging to a set of items. The raw data is in its crude form. Whatever you get from the source, then you cleanse it for the analysis purposes. That is the actual data which we keep talking about. So the data that is used for analysis is different from the data that you get from the sources. There are two more terms, variable and attribute. The values of variable vary and are measurable while attributes are the characteristics of an object. For example, variable can be in terms of number of defects, defect density, sales, average, order value, etc. While attribute for a product can be defective and non-defective, good or bad, or the customer satisfaction ratings. These can be further classified in terms of continuous and discrete data. And variables can be continuous and or discrete and Attribute data is only discrete type of data. Let us see what these two terms are now. In case of discrete, only a finite number of values are possible on a given scale. While in case of continuous data, infinite number of values are possible on a given scale. For example, say number of defect is discrete data. It can start from 0, 1, 2 and go up to n, where n will have a limit. While if we talk about example of continuous data, for example, defect density, there are infinite number of values possible between 0 to n. Here the defect density could be any number, it can also be in decimal numbers. So this way discrete and continuous data is different. Now you tell me between customer satisfaction score on a scale of 1 to 10 and the monthly sales, which can go up to anything, which one do you think is discrete? The answer is satisfaction score is discrete as there are only 10 values possible. It won't be like 1.2 or 1.3 or something like that. Customer satisfaction score will be discrete data while monthly sales will be the example of continuous data. Hope you got to learn something new today. Feel free to drop in your queries in the comments below and do share if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel and get regular updates. Thanks for watching and see you soon.